Hi, my name's Stan, and I live here on Whidbey Island. I retired here. I've been here several times in my life, and I thought it was probably one of the most wonderful places I've been. And then we're here at Eby Reserve, which is where most of the beautiful things are in the island. I come here all the time, and I've decided to come here with my granddaughter, film with the things that we do when she comes over on the weekends. My name's Riley Noctu. I'm 14 years old and from West Seattle. I come up to see my grandpa every weekend by bus, train, and ferry. Welcome aboard the Washington State Ferries. My grandpa and I come to EB Reserve all the time. And as an amateur filmmaker, my grandpa and I wanted to make this film to show you, the audience, what we like to do up here. This is Libby Beach. We like coming out here to enjoy the sunset, and during the day, we like to find critters in the rocks. Wow, look at that. It's really cool during low tide. This is Monroe's Landing. We like coming here because you can dig clams sometimes. There's all kinds of shells to pick up. And there's always a nice beach here. And it's never, ever crowded. And in the background, you can see that's Coopville. We're going to be going over there pretty soon. That's the little historic town that's part of the preserve. Here at Long Point, we like to find sea urchins, sand dollars, and squid eggs. The most packed I've ever seen this park was just two cars. So you can find a lot of things over here. There is a lot of wildlife at this park. Right now as we are currently filming this, there are three eagles fighting over a fish. This is the EB Reserve here and uh, it's one of the places that you can find both modern day farming in the Preserve of natural wildlife and forest it was settled in the 1850s on the Homestead Act by Lieutenant Colonel Isaac Eby. This is a Crockett blockhouse. It was used to keep uh, the Indians under control. Uh, they would climb up in the top there and see the little holes. Uh, and that's how they would fire at the Indians. This right here is the Fort Casey Lighthouse. We have many memories up here, and we still like going up to the top of it. Fort Casey was built during the war. It's one of three forts, and none of them ever fired a shot at the enemy. Two sea urchins and two moon snail shells. shells. This is Driftwood Beach. This is probably one of our most favorite places in the whole reserve. It's a very unique. It's gravel and sand all the way up and down and hundreds and hundreds of thousands of pieces of driftwood. You can walk around here for hours and never find anything the same. You'll find seals that come up on the beach, and beautiful rocks. One of the things kids love to do when they come to the beach is to draw figures in the sand, the gravel. One of the best things they like to do are ducks and turtles. This is their rendition of a duck. Congratulations on the Park Service for 100 years. It's a quite a unique system that America has, and we've been very lucky to be able to preserve it and keep it as wonderful as we have. I hope you enjoyed all the things we looked at today, and believe me, it is not all of them by far. There's some that we just didn't have time to get to. It'd be great for you to come out and enjoy this whole vista and the whole atmosphere. There's no healthier or more wonderful place to spend it and the EB Preserve and all of the things it has to offer. Thank you. Thank you to the EB Reserve for letting this film festival happen. We especially want to thank the partners in, of the Trust who have done such a wonderful job to make this super place for all our kids to come to. Thank you.